Jerry, have a seat. All right. Jerry, I'm sure you're asking why we called you here. We have a special mission for you. You've been handpicked for this job. I know it's early in the war. I know you might be a little nervous, but I think you are the man for the job. You've been in the Navy for what? Oh, about, about a year now. About a year? Okay, that'll be plenty. That'll be plenty. Um, you might think you're green, but no, you're as fine. Um, this mission, um, I know I know you're ready for it. You've been in Pensacola, got the mission as a naval officer, been through extensive training in this realm. You're ready, you're good. I'm not the least bit nervous. Are you nervous at all? Yeah, yeah I'm a little nervous. Sure, sure. Well, that's natural. That's natural. To be honest, I think if you weren't a little bit nervous, didn't have butterflies in your stomach, I would probably be a little bit nervous myself. What the hell? It's a big job, a big job, but I think you're ready for it. Um, there's maps if you need them. Your mission tonight is to find the boardroom. Here on the ward room. The ward room. Uh, the ward room. It's, it's a place where it's a place where we eat. There's food and stuff there. Two O's. Two O's. Um, if you smell food, you're getting close. Shouldn't be a problem. I know you're up for it. You're the man for the job. Your squatter, your country, your count on you. Yeah, you can do it. Good luck, son. Thanks for there. Thanks. Do you guys sing Gus? I have not. You guys seen, seen Gus? Gus? I haven't seen him yet today. No, I haven't it's... seen him, uh, I haven't seen him a whole cruise. Yes, no, was it yes? No, it's, it's about a week ago, actually. Yeah. Would you see him? No, I, I, I saw, saw him yesterday. We were on the beach. Remember we had that, uh, that party? That party. Yes, no. Actually, Christmas party. I saw him at the Christmas party. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, briefest strike. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. And through the gap. Oh. 
Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah.
I haven't seen Gus at all. I haven't seen Gus's. I haven't seen Gus the whole cruise. This next scene, what we're going to do is, I know we're probably thinking, thinking we're gutsy, ballsy naval aviators doing nothing but flying around real tough, like. You know, Lindbergh or Jaeger or Rickenbacker, but no, we do other things. We do other fun stuff like um, we have all officers meetings ad nauseum pretty much daily. Quite a good time. We'll show you that. Uh, other jobs we have are uh, integrity watch, or you're the integrity watch officer, hence IWO, hence in Navy E's EWO. Good time. What you do for that is you go up to what's called flight deck control up on the uh, flight deck, coincidentally enough, and uh, sit in a little room with about 10 enlisted guys who smoke like chimneys, and uh, cut your lifespan about five years. Pretty good time. Also, basically your job is for that is to uh, to make sure that no one comes off in the middle of the night and steals the airplanes off the flight deck. Good time. Kind of like a night watchman, if you will. Um, another job, kind of fun, is uh, primary flight control officer. What you do for that is every time there's one of our squadron airplanes, landing or taking off as a representative, generally a uh, beaten down, downtrodden junior officer, such as myself, who would go up there, be the squadron representative to be hassled by the boss lest someone screw up. So as if you were in the airplane, as if you were in the cockpit, you know what was going on, they'd bitch at you. I don't know why, it's a Navy thing. Who knows? Another deal we do is uh, SDO, uh, short for Squadron Duty Officer. Uh, Basically for that is you sit here in the ready room, where we are now, and uh, get, do every little menial task everyone thinks of doing the entire day. Sit here basically from 7 in the morning, often until uh, midnight or beyond, making for a fun uh, 16 or so hour day, fun, good time, and everyone has to do it. We'll give you a little bit of flavor on that. So uh, come, join us. how much longer he's gonna keep talking. Hmm. I wonder if he knows he killed the horse about 15 minutes ago. I wonder what's for dessert tonight. Hmm. I wonder what the capital of Somalia is. I wonder how many more minutes are left in this cruise. Java. We're down at 80 to wait shit. Wait shit's coming right up. Got it right. They need to wait shit up on the roof. 
Hey, Mac, can you call Civic and get those new cards today? Yeah, hold on just a sec. Let me get them. How about, uh, Mac, do we have the uh, lineup for event four? Um, no, yeah, let me write that up there for okay. you. Okay, good. Hey, guys, which way to the first tee? Yeah, I'll show you, Jeff. Right down here and take a ride down. What, 2 o'clock? Is that morning or at night or the afternoon? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I've been looking okay. for Gus. Gus? Well, Gus lives in here? Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't seen him in a while, though. Yeah, I haven't, shit, I, I haven't seen much of anybody, actually. What's going on, anyway? You, here's the thing. Life on the boat here is very full and varied. A lot of guys have different yeah. ways to blow off steam. Yeah. Some of your more cerebral types will read uh, technical publications, enhancing their minds. Some guys will read novels. Some guys will further their aviation career by uh, sucking up to the big guys. Some of your guys, chock full of testosterone, will go to the gym, maybe work out, get a little sweat going. And some guys like to just hang out in their room and uh, rock out, maybe, maybe just lounge about. In any event, what we're going to do now is going to show you a few typical everyday probably any time of the day you can probably catch this scene here on the boat. We'll show a few to you, give you a little little spice, if you will, of our life here on the boat. So come. Hey, we bring you now to the forecastle, nautically known as the forecastle here on America, to give you a little uh, idea of what we do trying to get rid of our large lumpy butts on uh, some exercise equipment. So uh, here we go, let's show you. Two of which probably work, one of which is uh, probably out of commission all the time. Hey, oh, here we are. Thank you. Our own beloved thank you. Hey, Bob. Hey, what are you, what are you listening to? Vic, what are you listening to? What you doing, dude? What are you listening to, man? What are you listening to? New kids on the block. Oh, uh, is that their new one? Yeah. Yeah. Boss out. Boss out. Tough. 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 Hey, Spank, you see my Millie Vanilli tape? I can't find it in the room. Uh, yeah, I kind of bought it. I mean, I, you know, I come down here for like three hours. These guys just get me so inspired. Millie Vanilli and the new kids, and of course, Vanilla Spice. And it just makes me want to go all day. I could probably pedal back to Norfolk for those three tapes.
never did find a uh, golf course, but I thought I'd play a little pass today. Uh, can you help me out with the directions? Sure, sure. Let me show you. Step out of here. Okay. Just follow this hallway down. So you get to the ball. Back to the way. So, VIP. seen Gus in a few days. You guys seen him recently? I haven't. I haven't seen him for a while either. Hope so he's all right. Saw him a couple days ago, I think. Actually, uh, let's see, when did... I remember seeing him eating one day. I think... Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd take a swim. Anybody want to go? Sure. You know where it is? No, no. Help me out with the direction. Yeah, it's right across from the disco. Hold on. You come down here. Not too reliable, but once uh, one of them opens up and the word gets out, that's when all the fun begins. Hey, girls. Shower's open. Woo! I see Gus moving. No way! No way! You gotta be kidding me. I've only seen him like twice, Gus. What? Who? Is the war over yet? <laughs> it's the war over? Yeah. Man, it's been over for months. Where have you been? <laughs> Dude, look at your watch. Look at the calendar. <laughs> it's April 17th. <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready to fly off. Oh, man. We're going our way home. We're 100 miles from home.
all those boys over there the best of luck we're praying for them and we're going to be right here on this pier to watch that america come right on back here our wish for the new year is that you come home safe that there'll be peace <laughs> over all the world all the men and the america please come home safe i uh, just want everybody to come home safe
Woo! Sherry, Don, and Justin. Good, good. Anything uh, spectacular or anything special you want to do when you get home with the kids? I just want to be reunited with them and just hopefully have a great day. That's well, congratulations all. and thanks for all of the hard work you did over there in the Persian Gulf. Thank you. And uh, we'll have more from these fine sailors once we uh, dock at the pier, so we go back to you, Joe. All right, Sheldon. Fried chicken, apple pie, uh, soaps. That'll get you every time. Nothing like uh, America and being home. Down on the pier right now, waiting for us to introduce her is Kathy Barnstorff. Kathy, what's it like there? Well, Joe, the momentum is starting to build here. You can hear it. The crowd is so excited to see the America come in. Among the people who's very excited is Wendy Stubbs and young Luke. You have a kind of a naval history in your family, don't you, Wendy? Yes, we do. So our, our daddy's out there and my brother. And um, my brother-in-law's on the uh, Roosevelt. And my husband's father, he's a retired captain. And I just want to say we're so proud of him. So this is kind of your uh, a new experience for you. You haven't had a deployment before with no, your husband. No, I have it. I have it. And um, so this is some experience, especially after the war and everything. It's just a, it's just a different experience. So how have you been able to cope with young Luke as your husband has been gone? And also tell me what he does on board the America. Well, I've just got a great family and my husband and his family. And um, I don't know. It's just... We're just, I don't know, we're just so proud of him, and he's coming home, so. And your husband's a radar intercept officer. Yes, he is. He's a radar with a VF-33. With VF-33, a fighting Tomcat squadron. You know, the one thing we have learned from homecoming is that height can make a big difference in being able to see the ship. If you're tall or if you can find a way to sit on somebody's shoulders, it makes a difference. All the people here are waiting. Of course, this is the worst part, because even after the ship docks, It'll take a little while for the guys to get off of the America. But we'll be here the whole time, Joe, and sh we sure look forward to seeing a lot of the happy faces and welcome home to Hampton Road. All right, Kathy Barnstorff right there in the middle of them on Pier 11. Thanks very much. It's a scene that uh, repeats itself over and over here in Norfolk. Uh, gee, since the turn of the century, perhaps, and it never gets old. A homecoming. Everyone is delighted to see the USS America back home again. Jim, we'll go back to you. And indeed it is a red, white, and blue, star-spangled, uh, bells and whistles kind of day. We'll be coming back to Joe and all the others uh, out at Norfolk Naval Base a little bit later in the broadcast. But there were other things happening in the world today, and we have some of that other news for you. Jury selection is underway for a man accused of killing four children. John Robert Hamlin is charged with setting fire to this small wooden house last April. The house was owned by his former girlfriend. She and four young children died in the blaze. Johnson and four others escaped without injury. Well, the nationwide rail strike is over. President Bush signed legislation early this morning ordering striking rail workers back to work. Vic Ratner has more on that. Idled freight trains across the country. And who are you waiting for? Well, I'm Alice K. Tano, and I'm waiting for my dad. So have you seen him yet? Uh-uh, no. <laughs> haven't seen him. So what does your dad do aboard the America? I don't know. He, he just, um, like, gets the helmets ready and all. He fixes them and the os oxygen masks. Um, Did you follow a lot of the what went on on the news when you, when it was going on during the war? Yeah, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I was kind of confused. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I sort of didn't know what was happening. But, you know, when my mom told me, I knew. All righty. Well, thanks very much for being with us. We are waiting for more sailors to come down the gangplank. Some of them have arrived, and we'll be seeing all those welcome home soon, Joe. Thanks, Kathy. That's going to do it for us down here at the Norfolk Naval Base, the America's home, the Kalamazoo's home. People are happy once again. It's a great sight and a great feeling. We'll have more coverage tonight on 13 News at 530.